and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play the Oracle of Ages. When we last left off, I had just gotten Cheval's rope, and uh, now I'm bringing it back to Rafton so he can make us a raft so we can get to Crescent Island and the third dungeon. Yes! You may have noticed I skipped ahead and said goodbye to Moosh, but that's because there's really not a whole else lot to see except, you know, me walking around. Stupid walking. Here we are, Rafton Shack. All right, Rafton, now that we've given you this rope, make us that raft. Well, obviously I'm going to let you have it. That's why I went out and got it in the first place. Wait, what? We have to go find a chart, too? Oh, you bastard! How well, the hell am I gonna find one of those? Oh, naturally, Ralph will tell us. Hi, Ralph. <sighs> Dawdling about when I'm the only one doing any actual work. Right, Ralph? Weird guy that sells charts? Huh. Alright then, I suppose this means we're going to have to go back to the present again. It's kind of weird how we keep getting things from the future to help out in the past. You know what just struck me? How did Rafton know the rope we had with Cheval rope if Cheval hadn't finished making the rope yet? How would he know what it looks like? Huh. Well, anyways, we're back to the present. I think you're supposed to talk to some other people about this. Yeah, there's this weird guy by the sea. Wait, he floats in the air. You know, I knew a weird guy that floated in the air once. Huh. I don't think it could be... Oh, God, no. Oh, God, it couldn't be. Please tell me it's not. Oh, well, okay, so how are we supposed to get to him exactly? Oh! Hey, look, it's another animal. Oh, he lost his precious gloves. Oh, well... Wait a minute, a boxing kangaroo? Oh... There's another stereotype I don't think this game required. Well, if we go over here and bring out our trusty shovel, we can dig away these pile of piles of dirt to find Ricky's gloves. Which we'll we will then bring to the kangaroo in order to get his help. For you see, if I go into that cave, it's not really going to help us get to Tinkle. Yet. Oh, I just gave it away, didn't I? Oh, well, so much for that suspense. Yes, I do hop into his pouch, and yes, he does carry me around and jump, and ugh. It's funny, though, because Ricky pretty much is the best helper in the game, really. Boing. Jump over here. Come on, shut up, Ricky. I, I already know I can jump over holes, thanks. Ah, we come here, cut him down, and yes, it's Tinkle. Or Tingle, or whatever the fuck his name is at this point. I don't know, I hated him in Majora's Mask, and I hate him here. I don't want to be a friend. I want you to go the hell away. What are you doing? In Ooh, mystery seeds. Hmm. Okay, well, Ricky's gonna say goodbye. Which means we have to uh, make our own way back down. Oh yeah, can't get that just yet. Well, this obviously means we once again have to go to the past. So, in order to not bore the crap out of you people, I will skip ahead until <clears throat> we are at Rafton's. One, two, three, and go! All right, we're back. Now we're going to give Rafton. Oh, well, he seems to have already finished the raft, and we'll give him the chart or keep the chart, I guess, so we can go sailing on the seas in the raft. 
Oh boy, isn't this fun, folks? By the way, watch out for those whirlpools. They act kind of like bottomless holes. Oh boy, we're out on the ocean or the sea or whatever it is. This must be fun! Wait, what's going on? I'm not in control here. Um. Uh oh. Huh. I think we're in a storm, folks. This won't end well. That was a monkey! Oh, God! Wait, what the hell? Where did my items go? Who the hell are these things? You motherfuckers! No, you bastards! Give me my stuff back! Oh. And welcome to Crescent Island, folks. Home of the Toke. Green little lizard thingies. Oh, well, here's my shovel. Basically, the entire idea here is, is we're stuck on Crescent Island in the past. And we have to get all of our items back in order to proceed to the third dungeon. Isn't it wonderful? Apparently, this place will also tell tales of, uh, well, I'll let you figure that out yourself. We've never seen a Toke like you. Well, that's because I'm not one, you dumbass. Oh, can't get that yet. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I have to go in this cave. Now that I have my trusty shovel, I can get my sword back. Yay! Wooden sword! Again, I still have no idea what those things are supposed to be. Crystals? Plants? I don't know. One of the cooler things about this game is while you're digging, yeah, you can sometimes dig out enemies. Kind of irritating, I suppose, but whatever. It's money. Also, we're starting to run into that habit of things being stronger in the past than they are in the future. Now, this guy here will sell me a shield for 50 rupees. It's kind of a ripoff, but it's the only way to really get my shield back right now, and I kind of like my shield, thanks. Do, 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 do. Those seedlings I'm pushing into the roads of pushing there because in the future, and we will get back to this place in the future, they grow into vines. One of the tokes tells you that, but I was too lazy to talk to him. If we go up here, we find a special hut that has my power bracelet and my feather for sale. And much like the boomerang from Link's Awakening, we get to trade our items out in order to use them. So it becomes a puzzle of, you need this item to do that. It's kind of neat, I like it. I'm not opposed to it, really. Anyway, with the power bracelet, we go up here. Push these blocks out of the road. To get our bombs back! Using our bombs, of course, we can blow this stuff up. Now, of course, I'm gonna have to take some time to rearrange my items once I get them all. Hey, look! It's a gaseous seed! I could care less. I'll stop. I can't remember what's in here. Oh, no, wait. I've already been in here, and I can't do that without another item. Ah, I gotta stop doing that. Alright, now that we have the bombs, we can bomb this wall open. Kaboom! This little golden toke has us play a game for a scent seedling. I already know the rules, so I won't bother you with them. Basically, we have to pick up this piece of meat with the power bracelet and throw it at the toke that are coming. Every last toke has to be carrying a piece of meat when they cross the finish line at the bottom. And if they aren't, you fail. It's pretty easy once you get used to it. It only sounds hard. Oh, God damn it, Link! You gotta be kidding me! Alright, let's try this again. 
without the fail sauce. Come on. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. So much stress. There we go. Hooray! Take the prize! I now have a scent seedling! Maybe it will produce many seeds! Alright, well, that's all the time we have for the video today. Tune in next time as I try to get the rest of Link's equipment back from these thieving lizards. Stick around, folks! There's more to come!